Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to this final lesson, lesson number three from unit six. Before we start, let's just take a quick review from all the lessons we have seen so far. Remember we talked about the two-part verbs and how its meaning changes when you add a preposition or other grammar particle. Right? We saw the example of turn as well as other examples here in the second um, slide. Remember that we also focus on making requests with imperatives, remember, just saying the action, turn the music down, please, or turn down the music. Remember that for nouns, you're able to have the phrasal verb together and then have the noun, as well as splitting um, the phrasal verb. Turn the music down. So this was for imperatives, for requests, we also saw um, how you would say how you would say it with a preposition in this case I'm sorry preposition a pronoun with it right it he she they we etc in this case when we have a two-part verb or phrasal verb we have to split it right like this turn it down instead of saying turn down it okay very good so this was uh, just to make sure that you do not make this mistake you also had some examples of requests with models right what are models what are some examples can could and would all right so in this case we have can could you please turn down the music remember that we can split this verb you uh, and say turn the music down could you please turn the music down? And we also have the model would. Would you close the door, please? Finally, we just quickly saw about requests with would you mind. And what was important about this was the action with ing, right? So the verb had to be with ing, such as would you mind turning the music down, please? right and as you can see even though that the phrasal verb is split it's separated we still need to include the ing with the main verb you cannot include the ing with a preposition that would be incorrect okay would you mind turning would you mind closing okay so it's important that you have the ing form um, as you can see from last lesson then we saw some different scenarios about making requests in this case with imperatives so then we had five as you can see um, air conditioning off and then you will have uh, a way to make a request with imperatives please turn the AC on turn it off please pick up your garbage let it in clean up your room right now we're going to use these same scenarios but we're going to make uh, requests with models and would you mind so you can see it's basically the same but the request will change so the same idea the air conditioning is off in the previous one we said please turn the, the AC on it's really hot but for this one we're making a question with can right we are using the request with a model with can can you turn the AC on please it's really hot right can you turn the AC on please number two we had this scenario where the TV was on and nobody was watching it right and we said the TV is on turn it off please we could also use a model in this case oh, I'm sorry would you mind and then remember we have to use it with ing would you mind turning off the TV would you mind turning off the TV right turning would you mind number three it says person throws garbage on the floor right it's the same one and here we said I'm sorry please pick up your garbage but now we're going to use the model could so instead of saying please pick up your garbage or pick your garbage up we would say could you please throw the garbage out okay 
Then, in the fourth scenario, the cat is outside. It wants to enter the house. For the previous one, we said, the cat is outside. Please let it in. For now, we're going to say, would you mind letting, the, letting in the cat? Okay, as you can see, we have would you mind and we have ing. Would you mind letting in the cat? Okay, and finally, we have this scenario, the room is a mess. The same one before, but here we just had clean up your room, please. But here we're using the model would, right? So we would make a question, would you clean your room up, please? Again, we have the phrasal, the phrasal verb clean up and we have the noun in the middle. Would you clean your room up, please? Okay, so that's the difference between making requests with questions such as models and would you mind compared to a simple request with an imperative, the ones you have right here. All right, well, this is the end of the final lesson. Remember to do the activities that are in the platform and in order for you to practice okay so have an excellent day see you for the next unit bye bye